The stalking started at this bus stop. It wasn't that late. It was 7, around 7 p.m. Anna Chavarin was walking home along Mission Road. I was listening to music in my earphones, um, so I didn't hear him approaching me. Until it was too late. He jumped on me from the back, and he wrapped his arm around my neck, and we fell in a wash. From there, he dragged me more into the desert area. Her cries for help went unanswered and she couldn't fight off her attacker. I started to fear for my safety and for my life. He ripped her clothing, robbed her belongings, and raped her. Before leaving, he threatened to return. I needed to get up, I needed to call for help, but at the same time I was afraid that he was still around and that he will come back. Eventually she ran for the road and flagged down a passerby to call 911. After sharing her story over and over with detectives, they gave her the choice, go home or the hospital. She chose for a forensic doctor at TMC to collect evidence with a rape kit. Just think about having this traumatic experience and have to go to the hospital and get totally naked and let another stranger to search into the body. So yes, it is very uncomfortable. But the exam proved crucial once her case reached the courtroom and the jury convicted this man, Roni Surat Rajaf. During the trial, Chavarin learned she was not his first, but rather his fourth victim. It's very common in our community these things to happen that they don't really care about it. They act like, oh, okay. Chavarin credits the counselors at the Southern Arizona Center Against Sexual Assault for helping her cope with the post-traumatic stress. Her message to other victims, don't hesitate to speak up or seek help. And it's very shameful to say, I've been raped. But when we speak up, we stop these crimes to happen again. At least that man will never do it again. Justin Shecker, Kegan Knot on your side.